and when you get it right, they will have an immediate reduction in symptoms, like immediately. Hi, my name's Timothy King. I'm a myotherapist. Hi, my name's Sarah Beach, and I want to give you a really warm Aussie welcome for joining myself and the amazing Timothy King for our online program that we've designed for you together. We want to unpack for you in this training just how simple some of these solutions can be for TMD, for headache, and also for orofacial, various autonomic orofacial dysfunction. We really want you to be able to take home and use this stuff clinically because again, it's an adjunct that can be quite brief and inserted into uh, a protocol that can be inserted into regular treatment quite easily. Um, so what I want you to do is get yourself a, um, a family member or a patient or a model or a friend and literally put this training on the TV above your chair if you've got that set up. And so you can watch it and pause it and, and do exactly what you're doing um, and really get your fingers around it because as um, the more you do it, practice makes perfect and uh, you really want to get your fingers accurately around um, your surface anatomy uh, and your muscle borders and your bony prominences and uh, just knowing your way around really, really well because how precise you can be really does make the difference. So we're gonna begin with uh, masseter. And, uh, and so first of all, we'll define its borders. So I'll just get you to clench your teeth for me. And as she clenches, I can feel the anterior border of masseter. We know it attaches onto the ramus of the mandible down here and onto the zygomatic arch up here. Just clench again for me. There's that anterior border and relax. And so the treatment that I'm gonna provide is literally feeling the shape of that muscle, uh, moving the skin over the underlying muscle. So as you'll see in the other tutorials, if you imagine the epimysium on the surface of the muscle, it's literally between the skin and the muscle underneath. And so I'm starting at the anterior lower portion and I'm going to work through these portions of masseter right here. And I don't have to do it for long. Imagine you're literally trying to feel the fibers roll under your fingers. So I'm going to push the skin out of the way. I'm going to put some pressure down to deform the shape of the muscle just a little. And then I'm going to roll. I can feel that, those muscle fibers rolling under my fingers. I haven't got to the ramus. And so I'm going to take up further slack and I'm going to slide that finger along further. I'm right near the border of the mandible at the bottom here. Now, uh, if you look at the pain patterns, pain can arise from this location, can arise from the mid belly of the muscle, it can arise from this location here. So it's important to do three sweeps basically, along the right along the border here, through the middle of the muscle and then nearer the zygomatic arch. As your kinesthetic acuity, as your um, feel improves, you'll start to be able to feel uh, where there are active restrictions present causing symptoms. But early on to be more objective, you may want to ask your patient where is it most sensitive and get that feedback from them. And so we're not going to apply this te technique lots of times, we're going to do it once uh, or twice and then, and then leave it and go and do something else. Remember, we're, we want to treat functionally. So we want to treat really the whole, all of the major masticatory muscles and, and then let the body figure itself out with movement rather than being very focused on spending a lot of time on one muscle. So clinically, I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to move up near that zygomatic arch. There's the anterior border of the masseter. Just dragging the skin. I'm not using oil and sliding over the skin. I'm really trying to imagine trying to influence the surface of the muscle. And again, And if you're not sure about the shape of the muscle, just get your patient to clench their teeth again so the muscle stands up. You'll feel its borders very clearly. 
Secret to success is being thorough. I've had many cases where I've been confident that a patient's pain is coming from masseter and they've provided treatment and they've come back and said the pain's no better. And so I've had to search with greater accuracy, just very specific locations in it, just spend a little more time on it. And when you get it right, they will have an immediate reduction in symptoms. Like immediately afterwards, they'll be able to open their mouth and say, it doesn't, doesn't hurt now. I had a patient like that just this week. Now, the deeper fibers of uh, masseter, uh, which you can't palpate directly, we have to palpate them through the more superficial fibers. The easiest way to locate that uh, place is Along the zygomatic arch, just in front of the tragus of the ear, you'll feel a little hollow. Your finger is basically on or just immediately anterior to the condyle, the condylar head of the uh, mandible, and there's just a hollow. And we don't have enough room here to, to do a sweeping type of movement. And so instead, I'm just going to use a downward pressure into that little um, recess. And if you watch my finger really closely, I am moving, but only a few mil, just like that. And that's adequate. Now we know these deeper fibers can cause pain in the ear. They can cause some tinnitus symptoms as well. And so this being very specific to this point can alleviate those, those symptoms. So that's masseter. Now, as you get good at this, let's just turn straight for me. You can use it as a protocol that's not only treatment, but also assessment. When you just want to assess your patient, you can just use both hands and make it quite quick. So I'm just doing both sides at once here. I'm starting near the lower border. I'm rem remembering that I'm going to go through three layers uh, or three lines uh, through masseter along its border here and then along mid belly of the muscle feeling, even comparing, even asking my patient which side is more tender, being sure that my pressure is equal right and left and then hard up against the zygomatic arch there. An assessment and treatment of masseter is that simple.